What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another Dragonfly to gold making video. So today we are once again taking a look at how to prepare for patch 10.0.5, which is coming, it's literally right around the corner now, like if you look around the corner it's going to be right there, and it's coming with the weekly reset. So based on that patch we are now getting access to transmog white and grey items, and based on that there's so many preparations we can do right now to make millions of gold in that patch. I already made one video on preparations you can do right now and buy white items from vendors around the world or around Azeroth to sell them later down the line for a profit and today I want to build further upon that based on the feedback from that video. You guys seem to love that one so I want to make another video based on white and grey items, well mainly white items for this video specifically and this one will be a little bit more speculative but if it works out it's going to generate way more profits as well so definitely pay attention to what I'm about to say in this video if you want to make gold in patch 10.0.5. Before that though I do want to give a massive shout out to all of you guys to support over here on YouTube has been insane lately and I can't thank you guys enough and I'm so happy that you are happy with the Dragonflight content. Also I want to extend a massive shout out and thank you to everyone who's picked up my Dragonflight gold guide so far and this one will be linked down below as well in the video description and the pinned comment. This is currently a 170 pages long PDF document for gold making that I've been working on before Dragonflight came out and I'm still working on to this day and when I make updates you will get all those updates sent out to you for free. When you purchase that gold guide you also get access to a private discord server where you get early access to videos, even more gold making information and also exclusive gold making videos and right now based on white and grey items becoming transmogulum in patch 10.0.5 we have also made a full document, a google document of white and grey items that I'm personally looking to both farm for, buy now and invest into and sell in that new patch to generate profit and you can get access to that document by checking out the gold guide through the link down below. So once again if you want to check it out the link will be down below in the top of the video description and the pinned comment and with that being said let's take a look at white and grey items to prepare for patch 10.0.5. So for the first one, you can see I'm currently in the Undead Starter Zone, which is, uh, it feels kind of weird, I haven't been here in quite a while. Always when I level new characters I choose Exiles Reach, but I think it's time to go back to doing old Starter Zones now, because there's some quite interesting white items you can obtain from these starting zones. So for example, as an Undead, after you have done the main starting zone itself, you will get a quest called No Better Than The Zombies. This one will give you three, well, several different alternatives based on your class, and you can choose the Forsaken Maul, Forsaken Short Sword, or Forsaken Bastard Sword. And th these swords right here will have a different tint based on you being an undead than other races will. So for example, uh, humans, gnomes, dwarves, even orcs, trolls, and so on all have the same standardized types of weapons that you're getting from these starting zones, while undead has a completely unique tint that you can only get as an undead. This one can generate some very interesting gold making opportunities later down the line and for this video right here I want to draw your attention to the Forsaken Bastard Sword right here. Even though you can get the Forsaken Maul, you can get the Forsaken Short Sword, but I want to take a look at the Forsaken Bastard Sword. So I'm just going to get this quest right here. Now you can get another quest as well and you can then choose some other items from this quest which is the Death Guard Buckler for example and this one has a more standardized tint. But what you can see right now, first of all, they are bound when equipped, so it's soul bound right now. But these weapons that are BOP will be turned BOE when the patch comes out, so you can actually sell them if you haven't equipped them yet. So everything you are currently equipped will be as well still soul bound, but anything you haven't equipped you can just t place in your bags and it won't be soul bound when the patch comes out. So this weapon right here, Forsaken Bastard Sword for example, has a pretty unique tint that is more shown if you equip it and you can just put it on your character. And if I scroll in right now it will have a different type of tint at the top of the sword. It's not 
that unique. It's not, not like going to be massive, but you can see on my character right now, it has like this red line where you put, put your hands on the sword, and that is very unique to the to the undead starting zone weapons, and it's not something you will have on every single race out there, and it's not going to be something that is going to be massively noticeable on your character, but it makes the weapon itself a unique transmog tint, which means that everyone looking for all the things, for example, they will need and want to have this weapon right here, which you can only get from the undead starting zone, and for, for that reason, like if soulbound items go back in time, so if you can just get this one from the quest, put it in, in your bags and it becomes BOE when the patch comes out, it is definitely worth doing the quest now, and if this one becomes BOE, you can then put this one on the auction house and sell it for a profit. Also, Forsaken, uh, if it's a Forsaken Bastard Sword, you can only get it from being undead, but it doesn't really have a horde requirement on it as of right now, because it's not a cosmetic item just yet. That being said, when this one becomes a cosmetic item, if you can transfer this one to Alliance, I can see this one selling for a lot of gold on the Alliance side, if you transfer to Alliance basically. So you can get some swords right now, stock up, and either transfer to the Alliance side, or you can literally transfer the weapon itself by using the cross-faction auction house. Now, of course, as of right now, the weapon is soulbound, as I just said, but based on this post right here and the answer from Kyvax as well, it looks like white items that are soulbound right now will become bound on equip, and you can sell them on the auction house, which works retroactively, so as long as you possess the items, they will become soulbound. But if you already have them equipped, then obviously they will be bound to your character. So what you want to do here is just obtain the sword, put it in your bags, and don't equip it. So anything you want to just uh, sell for a profit later down the line, make sure you don't currently have it on your character when the patch comes out. So this item right here, Forsaken Bastard Sword, and all the items from this quest right here, could be worth doing. It takes like 2 or 3 minutes to do all the starting zone quests right here. Get to level 5 or level 6, then do this quest right here super quickly. It is a super easy way to obtain a somewhat speculative item, but if it works out, it could generate a lot of gold. Either way, let's move on to number two. Now for number 2 we have a little bit of a simpler one, and this one is an advice I picked up from Vadis on Twitter when I was scrolling through my Twitter feed, and it's to create worgens and goblins right now, and then collect their transmog items and sell them when the patch comes out. So basically, BOE transmogs, they will be, you can put them on the auction house, and they will be soul bound after the patch comes out, which means that anyone wanting these items will need to be a goblin or a worgen where they will need to make a goblin or a worgen, and they will be soulbound. The only way to get these items to be BOE and put them on the auction house is right now, before the patch comes out. So basically, all you want to do here is create a worgen and slash or a goblin, and take a look at their unique appearance. So for example, you have the Gilnean Recruits Tunic, which is a very unique type of tunic when you compare this one to the human starting zone, for example. This one is very unique, and on my server right now, it is selling for 150 6,000 gold and has a region sale average of 6.2k. This is obviously before the patch comes out and things like this can spike in price half a year from now or even a year from now as well so it's definitely worth if you have a couple of empty character slots on your server like why not right it takes you one minute to create a character unequip the items and that's all you need to do. You can see the belt as well selling for a million for some reason and 7.4k on my server. You can see this one selling for 15 k and 2.5k average, and you also have the Gilnean recruits boots as well, so I'm just putting all of those in my bags, and I'm actually going to do the same thing with a shirt as well, just in case, but there we go, soulbound shirt, and just putting that one there as well. Now for the worn short sword, and also the worn wooden shield, they're going to be the same on every single race anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much, but if you want to just get those, you can get those as well. You can obviously take this one step further by doing quests in the starting zone as well, to collect more items throughout the starting zone. That will require a little bit more effort, but you get more bang from each character basically. So instead of making 10 characters, you can make one and do all the quests and collect several white items that will become BOE when the patch comes out. And uh, yeah, they will become BOE as long as you unequip them. So long story short, make a worgen or a goblin character, unequip 
all your items, put them in your bag, and that way they will be BOE and tradable when the patch comes out. Alternatively, like these are tradable right now, so you can just send them to your bank character right now as well. There's a mailbox right here when you make a <coughs> when you make a working character, so you don't even have to move. You can make a character, unequip your items, mail them away, and delete the character and do this same thing ten times, even if you just have one empty character slot on your on your account. Now it is also worth noting that rogues, for example, have a different tint based on what race you're playing. So if you're making worgens, try to make them as different classes. So for example, a worgen rogue will have something called a Gilnean footpads tunic, and this one has a region market value average of 375k right now. Definitely worth grabbing a couple of those. And you also have the Gilnean footpads gloves, you have the Gilnean footpads pants, and Gilnean footpads boots. Definitely worth picking up and it's worth knowing about the fact that different classes have unique tins and if you ask me just make one of every single armor type or one of every single class and just send the items away right now or store them in your bags and they'll be BOE so you can sell them later down the line but even right now people are starting to stock up on white items right now so even if you just put them on the auction house right now before they are transmogable like right now I can sell them on the auction house and they have a hefty hefty price so even before before the patch comes out, it might be worth starting to sell these items right now. Either way, let's move on to number 3. So for this next tip, this is going to be probably the most speculative throughout this video, but if it works out, it provides you with two different unique gold making opportunities, and we're talking about a battle pet. And we're not just talking about any battle pet here, we're talking about the Ethereal Soul Trader. If I just search up Ethereal Soul, you can see Ethereal Soul Trader right here. This one is selling for 750,000 gold on my server right now, and has a region market value average of 690,000 gold, with a regional sale average of 400,000. So, this is a battle pet, but why are we talking about it when it comes to patch 10.0.5? Well, for those of you who have used the battle pet before, or you have any, any information about the battle pet, you might know why, but we're talking about the Ethereal Soul Trader Clothing. So basically, in this battle pet right here, the Ethereal Soul Trader, or the Soul Trader Beacon, will give you a currency that you can exchange for different items from that uh, battle pet that hasn't really been useful before now, but based on the actual changes coming in patch 10.0.5, this could be very, very useful. It really depends on which items are becoming transmogable, but so far, these ones do fall into that category. So you can see we have the Soul Trader's Bindings, for example, a white item and it's a white binds when picked up item for chest. You also have the soul traders head wrap, you have the soul traders pauldrons, you have the gloves, the boots and the waistband. So first of all it's a white item which means it should be transmogable. It is bound when picked up but that is changing in the next patch as long as you have them right now. It is going to be a BOE item so you can put this one on the auction house and it will be sellable. So uh, actual gold making opportunity number one is just to buy the pet and simply resell the pet when the patch comes out. Number two is to buy the pet, farm the currency, and sell the white items on the auction house if they become transmogable as well. That way you have two different use cases for this pet. First of all, could be an investment opportunity, and second of all, could be a transmog item selling opportunity as well, just generating passive income from having the pet itself. So if, if it works out it, it's definitely going to definitely going to generate a lot of gold especially because this one right here is a very unique appearance this is not really an appearance you can have from any other transmogs out there other than this complete set from this uh, battle pet and here you can see what that transmog would look like on a human model, so it's a pretty simple transmog, but it's a soul trader type of transmog that is going to be very unique once again, and if it is in fact transmogable, it's going to be a very, very interesting gold making opportunity, both in terms of farming for that currency and selling those white items, but also provides us with a very interesting, uh, in interesting investment opportunity for patch 10.0.5. 
And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. Bit of a long video, but I thought all of these points um, had a place in the video. And I wanted to give you some three outside the box thinking methods of making gold for patch 10.0.5. And definitely some things you should be doing right now. Especially for creating, for example, the undead and also worgens and goblins. Based on those items automatically becoming soulbound in the next patch. That is something you want to do right now to make sure those items are BOE for you. And that way you can sell them on the auction house so it's about doing that before the patch comes out for the soul trader you can probably you can buy them right now make a lot of gold when the patch comes out or you can simply farm up the currency and buy the materials or buy the transmogable white items i also want to say at the end of the video that this video right here came out as early access to everyone who has my dragonfly to gold guide so once again that is another reason to pick up the guide to get early access to videos just like this one because right now if if the soul trader goes up in price, well you could have had access to this video probably 3, 4, even 5 days in advance of the video coming up. Either way, I want to thank you all so much for watching the video, hopefully you make a lot of gold in patch 10.0.5, and hopefully this video right here proved to be helpful to you. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you again very soon.